Ethiopia has been on a rapid drive to transform its economy into one of the continent's largest industrial hubs. This is an all-encompassing project targeting links in agriculture, infrastructure and textiles to develop a base for development and poverty eradication. With Africa's second largest population and some of the highest growth rates in the world, regularly exceeding 10% annually, Ethiopia's implemented growth and transformation plans, GTP1 and GTP2, in conjunction with Vision 2025, are earmarked to transform agriculture and spearhead industrial growth as the lead component in making the country a middle-income economy. This shift is presenting an opportunity for Ethiopia and her investors to capitalize on a focus on light and medium manufacturing sectors with the introduction of specialized industrial park zones. The industrial parks we would like to build would help us to shorten setup time. It will also help create the environment for the manufacturing plants to have a good level of productivity. So the, our prime focus, first, the key industries, we have increased them in terms of number and focus. And the cities we have chosen also are selected in view of what they can offer for the specific industry. Additional industrial park zones are currently being developed in Mekele, Dredawa, Kombolcha, Adama and the newly inaugurated Hawassa Industrial Park, which is already attracting globally renowned textile producers. Ranging from 500 to 2,000 hectares, with the emphasis on accelerating growth and promoting more FDI in Ethiopia. These all-encompassing zones are currently under expansion and offer investors an integrated environment for production with new facilities focused on agro-processing to pharmaceuticals. We came here in December 2013. The shed was offered to us and uh, we started construction. We completed the construction of factory in three and a half months. And after another two months, we started exports from here. The need for a technically skilled and qualified workforce is an asset recognized as integral to Ethiopia's industrial growth. Technical and vocational training are now a bedrock of higher education in the country, with more expansion planned for the country's youthful and growing population. We have been building technical schools for the last 10 years, based on the German education system. So we have reformed our technical colleges and universities. So technical schools we do have now 1,300 technical schools who can train up to 1 million. Investors already present in Ethiopia recognize the potential offered by these measures and the population and are already making plans to expand their operations in the country. We are setting up an industrial park in Mojo uh, with an investment of around 150 roughly million dollars. We are planning to produce the comfort shoes there, around uh, 30,000 shoes a day. So that is the, uh, our future what we are planning in this country. In terms of planning for new investors to industrial zones, a clear strategy and one-stop shop of incentives are now in place. Industrial park development by itself is an incentive because in the past, when companies want to engage in manufacturing industry, they have to find the land, build a factory and infrastructure. In addition to that, there will be a one-stop shop services inside the park. Companies that are getting inside the park will be focusing on their operation. Allowing investors to concentrate on their core business in designated zones has the added benefit of increasing time spent on production and export orientation. You know, our company, uh, Sin Textile Solutions, ETP Garment, PLC, in Ethiopia, we uh, export a lot, uh, you know, our uh, completed garment to uh, USA market uh, with uh, duty free. For example, you know, uh, uh, according to Agua agreement uh, between the Ethiopia government and the uh, USA government, and also we have a lot of uh, European buyers, so uh, in order to uh, export, uh, you know, uh, in uh, our garment, you know, in uh, Europe market. So our company is uh, enjoying a lot uh, that kind of uh, system. For those considering investment in Ethiopia, 
the agricultural sector represents major opportunities for returns that will build capacity and in turn facilitate growth in the national economy. The shift is being made from a subsistence agriculture model to ultimately the driver of the economy. The fundamental transformation of this sector is the catalyst to reinvigorate the structural base of the country. This is an agrarian economy. Uh, one of the programs we have, or the Vision 2025 is, uh, first we will like to continue focusing on transformation of agriculture. Agriculture is absolutely important for us and uh, we have given it top priority for the last two decades. We would like to continue giving special attention to agriculture. Opportunities in Ethiopia for experienced agri-investors are vast. Capacity building is now encouraged in a diverse range of investment projects in the sector, including wheat processing, beef feedlot for the domestic and export markets, UHT milk processing opportunities, tomato concentrate processing for domestic and export markets, and soya bean processing for animal feed and consumer markets. With an emphasis on enhancing productivity for high-value crops and livestock, and increasing the capacity of existing agricultural institutions, the end goal is to forge a more secure and self-sustainable agriculture sector. This is also complemented by Ethiopia's competitive logistic footprint, which is able to ready facilitate export. With new regional roads and rail routes, the country is also one of the leading aviation cargo hubs on the continent. This efficient turnaround has already reaped dividends as demonstrated by the dynamic Ethiopian floricultural sector. In addition to this, opportunities also exist for packaged fruit and vegetables for export to speciality supermarkets in Europe and the Middle East, tropical juice processing for domestic and export markets, along with beef and poultry. These individual opportunities represent a demand for integrated processing plants that have the potential for export and also supply a rapidly growing Ethiopian market. Um, land lease was, uh, yeah, was very attractive. Um, access to the market in general was, was easy for us to, to, to get a cattle and to uh, get the um, yeah, the feed ingredients uh, for, for our feed was um, yeah, easy to get done uh, here in Ethiopia. Um, tax holiday was attractive, um, duty-free import of, of machinery was, was really helpful uh, to get established. Um, so yeah, I think those, those things really helped us to, to choose Ethiopia. Yeah, I think there's a lot of room left for expansion. Um, Ethiopia uh, beef-wise is, is, is a, quite an untouched uh, place. Um, we're not that big yet. We at this point have 5,600 animals on site, um, but are already the largest, largest feedlot in Ethiopia. Um, and Ethiopia has a huge population of, of, of cattle, uh, 60 million um, animals in Ethiopia. Um, so yeah, I believe there's, there's a lot of room to expand. The expanding growing livestock capacity also brings its own demand for an increased supply of quality animal feed, moving from low to high productivity. We chose Ethiopia six, seven years ago because Ethiopia, the theoretical potential is huge. There are around 100 million people and the agricultural sector is still very much uh, underdeveloped, even if you compare it with other ag African countries. And we saw that one key missing in the chain was a uh, high quality feed. I mean, we can, uh, we can uh, stimulate farmers to, to hold chicken, but if not all the right inputs are there, okay, what can they do? So we decided to drive the, the sector by investing in animal feed. And by that, farmers can grow their chicken production through our feed. That was one of the basics which was missing at that moment. The moment our production capacity is around 
35,000 tons a year. Uh, this year we, reach, we will reach 30,000 tons, so we are almost reaching full capacity. That's why also now we started uh, planning uh, how to reach uh, 70,000 ton capacity. Because we plan, let's say, to, to grow every year around 20-25%. With the second largest population on the continent and rising income potential, Ethiopia is poised to increase production and demand for agri-produce. This equates to enormous potential for agri-producers who now embark on this journey with the country.